Hey guys, it's Julian and today I'm going to be showing you how to tune your kick. This is the easiest method I have found to do this. It's super important to tune your kick in your tracks guys. Like a lot of times I think it's totally underrated how important it is. But what's going to happen if your kick isn't properly tuned is your track is just going to feel kind of off. You know, it's going to sound like you need a better kick sample or like there's just something wrong in the low end. But overall your whole track is going to sound kind of weird. So it's super important to get your kick in tune. And this is a really easy way to do it that I figured out. So what I have in front of me here is my Eli Brown tutorial project file. This is from one of my tutorials I made on Eli Brown. The link to download this is right at the top of the description. And I'm going to play it for you right now. I've taken the kick out of tune with the rest of the track. And you can hear what it sounds like. So you can hear the track is almost there, but the low end just doesn't have quite as much synergy as we would like, and there's something that just feels a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do here to do this method is it's really simple. You just all you really need is your bass line and your kick. You know, I usually start doing this once I have those two things like just fleshed out and solid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bass line and we're gonna put it up two octaves here. Like this. And I'll turn this filter off so that we can really easily hear the pitch as well. And then I'm going to take the kick and we're going to put that up a few octaves as well. Now, where you put the kick kind of depends. Like sometimes I'll go for two octaves. Sometimes we could do three or even four octaves. But now if we play these two together, I'll turn the kick way up as well so you can really hear it. Now you can hear an actual pitch there. And it's a lot easier to kind of hear the pitch on the bass line as well. So, yeah, this is a really great way to do it. I think a lot of times it can seem a bit, like, daunting. Because it's kind of hard to hear that, like, if your kick and your bass line are in key together when they're tuned low. But if you pitch these up like this, now all of a sudden it becomes really clear, like, that you're hearing two different pitches. And then what's going to happen here is we start turning the kick down. And there we go, now you can hear, they're in the same key. And sometimes I like to just kind of test every note like that to make sure. But there you go, it's really simple. Now they're in key with each other. You can hear they're both in that. And now, if we put these down, back to the original octaves, so I'll put the kick back down, so now the kick is at minus 3. And then we'll also put this down to where it was in the volume. And then I just take the bass line, turn the filter back down, put the octave back down, and now... They're back in key with each other. And now the low end! just feels so much cleaner. So again, here's out of key. And then in key. So you can hear, you know, it's really simple. It's not a whole lot to really be done to do this. But it's just this little trick that is going to make your overall track feel a lot cleaner. And I think a lot of people want to do this. But again, it just seems super daunting when you don't really know what you're doing. Or you've never tried pitching or tuning a kick before. But you can see it's really simple when you just do it this way. Just start by getting the kick and the bass up higher so that you can actually hear the pitch. You know, it's a lot easier to hear like a lead that's going, Hoo! Than if you had your bass on going, mm. You know, you can even hear, like, from me humming it there. It's a lot easier to hear the pitch in something that's really high like that. So all you have to do is just tune your kick up really high and tune your bass line up really high. And then you can hear them as if they were just two lead elements or something like that. 
and then you just put them back to the original key. And you have yourself a kick that is going to be perfectly in tune with your track. And yeah, so that is going to be it for this one, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to give you guys this quick little tip to show you how to tune your kicks and get your low end sounding proper. Like I said in the beginning, you can get the Eli Brown tutorial project file where this whole track that I just showed you came from right in the top of the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely consider and make sure to support me on my band camp with my sample packs. You know, guys, I don't make a whole lot off of just these videos, but with the sample packs and with you guys supporting me through that, I'm able to keep making all these great videos for you guys, and we can all keep taking our knowledge of production to the next level every day. So yeah, thank you so much everybody. I really appreciate all the support and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.